CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.2 Given a scenario, use the appropriate Microsoft Command Line tool. Command Line Navigation Navigating the Windows Command Line Interface, or CLI for short, is an essential skill for IT professionals because, believe it or not, sometimes you won't have the luxury of a graphical user interface. Picture it like this, the CLI is your backstage pass to the inner workings of your computer. Thus a bit of CLI knowledge goes a long way. In this video, we will cover some basic commands that will significantly enhance your ability to navigate and manage files and folders from within the CLI. So let's dive in and become command line wizards. First up, we have the CD command. Now, think of your computer's file system as a giant filing cabinet with countless drawers and folders. The CD, or change directory command, is like your key to open these drawers and folders. Using CD, you can move into different folders or go back to previous directories, allowing you to access and manage files within those directories. For example, if you type the command CD documents in the CLI, it's like saying, take me to the documents folder. Here, we move away from the folder labeled Rosie and towards the documents folder, which is inside it. We call documents, in this case, a subdirectory as it resides inside Rosie's folder. This is also considered a downward movement in the directory structure because you are moving deeper into the hierarchy of folders, from a parent directory, Rosie, to one of its child directories, documents. Conversely, if you type the command, cd dot dot, you're telling the system, let's go back up one level, similar to stepping out of a subfolder and back into its parent folder. Additionally, you can teleport directly to a specific location in the file system by using an absolute path, such as the command cd, c colon backslash, program files. By specifying an absolute path, we can jump directly to the designated folder. No need to take the scenic route through every folder along the way. Next we have the dir, order command, which is used to list the contents of the current directory, displaying subdirectories and files within it. This command is particularly useful for quickly viewing the contents of a directory and obtaining information about the subdirectories and files stored there. When you type dir and hit enter, you'll see a detailed list of everything in your current location. For instance, if you're in Rosie's folder and type dir, once you press the enter key, you'll see subfolders like documents, pictures, and videos. Using the dir command is like having a quick peek inside to see what's available. With CD and DIR in your toolkit, you can navigate and explore your computer's file structure like a pro. But wait, there's more. Let's say you want to create a new folder to organize your files. Enter the MD command, which stands for Make Directory, to create, or make, new directories within the file system. You can also use the command MKDIR, which does the same thing. For example, type the command MD followed by the name of the directory you wish to create, and voila, the command generates a new folder with that name in the current directory. And with that bit of knowledge, congratulations, you're now a directory creating master. Now, what if you need to remove a folder you no longer need? Meet the RD command, which stands for Remove Directory, or its twin, RMDIR. These commands are your cleanup crew, ready to get rid of empty directories. Remember, they can only delete folders that are completely empty, meaning no sneaky subdirectories or files hiding inside. For our next trick, let's take the backups folder we just created. Now we are going to remove this empty folder using the rd command. To remove it, you simply type rd backups and hit enter. Just like that, the empty backups folder is gone. Easy, right? Now, to wrap things up, let's talk about drive letters. In the Windows operating system, drive letters are like addresses for different storage devices, such as hard drives, SSDs, optical drives, and USB flash drives. Each drive gets a unique letter, like C, D, or E. This system makes it easy to find and manage files across different devices. By default, the main drive, usually where the Windows operating system files are installed, gets the C label. Additional drives or partitions get the next letters in line unless another letter is specifically selected. And there you have it. You now have the basics to navigate and manage files using the Windows CLI. 
Remember, every great IT professional started right where you are now, learning one command at a time. Keep practicing, don't be afraid to make mistakes, and soon you'll navigate the CLI like a seasoned pro. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.